journey of faith in the oneness of God, Allah, and the last and final prophet, Muhammad, peace be upon him. The first pillar, the declaration and testimony of faith, ranks as the first of the vital integral pillars. The remaining principles relate to putting faith in action, as you must apply your faith in behavior and practice. The other four pillars are religious acts to be performed either daily, once a year, or at least once in a lifetime toward the attainment and accomplishment of faith. The word shahada in Arabic linguistically translates to mean testifying or bearing witness. The shahada is the Islamic creed. The shahada contains two parts that a Muslim must testify to and believe. The first part requires the believer to testify that there is no deity worthy of worship, veneration, or complete devotion other than Allah. A Muslim acknowledges that Allah has the exclusive right to be worshipped, venerated, loved inwardly and outwardly by one's heart, tongue, and limbs. Regretfully, many have regarded certain historical figures as their gods and deities, who are wrongfully worshipped and venerated, whether idols, superstitions, saints, ideologies, ways of life, or any authority figures, who claim to be divine or semi-divine, even though they are creations, with no power to bring any benefit or harm to anyone. But they have taken, besides him, gods which create nothing, while they are created and possess not for themselves any harm or benefit, and possess not power to cause life or death or resurrection. Quran, chapter 25, verse 3. One enters the fold of Islam by verbally stating these words, believing in them, acting on them, and living upon them. Merely saying these words verbally, without accompanying action, does not complete a Muslim. The second part of the testimony requires you to testify that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the messenger of God. In accepting Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, as the seal of the prophets, you affirm that his prophecy confirms and fulfills all previously revealed messages, beginning with those delivered by Prophet Adam, peace be upon him. You carry out the instruction given by Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, as commanded by God the Almighty. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, also serves as the best role model for humanity, one who proves his worth through his exemplary life. Muslims are encouraged to follow and emulate Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him's examples, manners, generosity, good habits, politeness, respect, gentleness, noble feelings, and way of life to the best of their ability, with an emphasis on Islam and the Holy Quran. There has certainly been, for you, in the Messenger of Allah, an excellent pattern for anyone whose hope is in Allah and the last day and who remembers Allah often. Quran, chapter 33, verse 21. These two phrases are the most frequently repeated words worldwide, as hundreds of millions of practicing Muslims iterate these words dozens of times throughout their day and throughout their prayers. It is recommended for a believer to recite them when they first rise in the morning and before going to bed. These words reflect and encompass every dimension of a Muslim's life. The Shahada, testimony of faith, is by far the essential aspect of Islam, as it affirms the belief in the oneness and uniqueness of Allah upon which the whole religion of Islam is built and all other beliefs hinge. It is the central belief that a Muslim adheres to for his entire life. Verbally stating these words and living by them is unquestionably a Muslim's most significant and most important duty. Unless you acknowledge this testimony, you cannot be a Muslim. Muslims strain to utter these words as their last spoken before departing this world, since whoever does so has been promised the destiny of God-given paradise. However, only the ones who lived and acted upon these words will be granted the ability to utter these blessed sentiments in the form of their final words. Believe and practice after submitting to your creator. Written by the Sincere Seeker from the Sincere Seeker Collection. Narrated by Austin Van Fleet. Copyright 2023, The Sincere Seeker. All rights reserved. May your journey to the answer and the truth be pleasant and successful. 
The Sincere Seeker's introductory book to Islam, The Sacred Path to Islam, and other Islamic books for adults and children are available on the Sincere Seeker's Amazon page at www.amazon.com forward slash the Sincere Seeker. You are encouraged to visit and subscribe to The Sincere Seeker's blog at www.thesincereseeker.com and The Sincere Seeker's YouTube channel at www.youtube.com forward slash C forward slash The Sincere Seeker. For questions or comments, please contact me at hello at thesincereseeker.com. Thank you for listening. At www.amazon.com forward slash The Sincere Seeker. You are encouraged to visit and subscribe to The Sincere Seeker's blog at www.thesincereseeker.com and The Sincere Seeker's YouTube channel at www.youtube.com forward slash C forward slash The Sincere Seeker. For questions or comments, please contact me at hello at thesincereseeker.com. Thank you for listening.